one thing about census search 2.0 is there is more data. This is both in the number of IPs, but even more dramatically in the number of services that we scan. Census has had a history of adding more ports and protocols to our routine scanning, but that data was so large that for many years, we only made it available to search users as a view only object. Searching the contents of the scan data from our universal internet scans was previously only available to customers who wanted to download our entire data set or use BigQuery. Now, with Census Search 2.0, you can access everything we have to offer in our UI, our API, via BigQuery, and from our raw scan data. Let's look at an example. In the first generated search, which I'm showing you here, let's look at this IP. You can see that we scanned this FTP service on port 21. But when we got to port 50,000, we parsed this in just as a banner, and it was only available as a view-only object. If I wanted to search for something, let's say this index of, which is part of the title, you'll notice I wouldn't be able to do that because we didn't allow for searching across those banner objects. No results. Let's pop over to census search 2.0 to see how this has changed. Here, if I put in this IP, you'll notice we parse out that FTP service. There's a little bit more detail, which is great. And now when we're looking at port 50,000, you notice we actually identify this as an HTTP service, and we've parsed the response accordingly. This allows you to go through and look at those details and use any of those HTTP response headers or bodies in your searches. That's nice because if I wanted to do something like show me every service that has for example, index of, you'll see now all of that data is available for you to use. A quick note, we previously scanned and indexed 18 protocols on 45 ports with our first generation search engine. Now we scan and index 38 protocols across more than 2,500 ports, and we follow HTTP redirects. You can expect that your results returned on your UI and API queries are pulling from a much larger sample.